Do you want to build a report in HubSpot that shows all the revenue you're generating and where it's coming from? Well, that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this HubSpot hack. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. To get to the report building page, you'll want to go to the top menu and click reports and then reports again. You'll then find an orange button over towards the top right where you'll click create report. Now, just so you know, there's a few different ways that you can create this report. You will need to be on a professional or enterprise level hub to build this out in the custom report builder. Some people like to do this through the single object. Some people like to do this through attribution reports. Today, I'm gonna to show you my personal preference, which is through the custom report builder. So we're gonna click into custom report builder and our primary source of data for this, since it's on revenue, is gonna be building around deals. So I'm gonna change our primary source to deals and we're ready to start building the report. So click next. And first thing we need to do is build some filters around this. So when I click filters here in this top navigation, some filters I'm going to look for is I want to make sure I'm building only for deals that are one. So I'm going to search for deal stage and I'm going to make that my first filter. And I'm going to search and I want it to be is any and you want to search for the correct pipeline that you're looking for. So I, I'm not looking for all closed one. I'm only looking for one specific pipeline, my demo sales pipeline. And I'm going to add that here as my filter. And now I'm ready to start configuring my report. So I'm going to click back to configure and clear out my data sources here. The first thing we want to do is obviously see how much revenue we're generating each month. So we're going to want to add in that filter of sorting by close date. And that's going to go on the bottom axis, which is our Y axis. So we're going to drag that over to our Y axis. By default, it should go to monthly, but if you click this pencil icon, you also can change the frequency to be daily, weekly, quarterly, yearly, whatever your preference is. And the next thing we're going to need to look for is the amounts. So how much revenue each month that we're actually getting. So we're searching for amount and we're going to want to drag amount over into the Y axis. So just give it a second to refresh. And now we have a report of how much revenue is coming in each month. But now we want to filter down by where that revenue was coming from. So HubSpot does some tracking for you and properties on contacts, on companies and on deals called uh, original source. So we're going to search for that on the data types and original source type. We're going to drag that into our breakdown by field. And then it's going to refresh the report. And now we're looking at all of the revenue and where it's coming from. So you can hover over a month here. So if I hover over February, I can see I got $4,000 coming from paid search, 1,000 from email marketing, another thousand from organic. If I look back to December, I can see exactly where HubSpot's tracking that the, um, how these deals were being created where the contacts are coming from, who actually spent this money with me. So where my revenue is coming from, we can get a little bit more creative with this report too if we wanted to add another y-axis. So say we not only want to see the amounts, but we also want to know the count of deals. We can add another axis here. So it's not only important to us of how much revenue we're generating, but the number of deals that we're getting as well. So by default, it gives you this bar graph um, and then the second axis will give you a line. So we can go into chart settings here. We can change y-axis to to also be a bar graph. And that is here, show as bar. And that's a little bit uh, nicer to look at. Now that our report's built, I recommend giving it a nice name so you always know how to find it. So I recommend um, revenue, is my typo, revenue by month by source. And then save this report. And then it'll ask you if you have any dashboards, like any marketing dashboards or sales dashboards, uh, I recommend adding it there. Um, and once you save your report, It'll always be there for you to go back to, and it will be an active report. So as new months and new revenue are coming in, all this data will be updated. So I hope you got a lot of use out of this video. I hope you can now build your own reports. Make sure you like and subscribe to get all the latest and greatest HubSpot hacks. Thanks for watching.